Hey guys, this is Tech It Out, and today we are going to be finding out if you should use Windows RT in 2020. So, let's get started. So what exactly is Windows RT? Well, basically, it is a version of Windows 8 or 8.1 in this case that is designed to run on ARM devices, which is the type of processor that phones and tablets use. Unfortunately, while you do get a free version of Microsoft Office, as you can see here, and you do get desktop and all that stuff, Windows RT is not compatible with normal apps that you download from the internet. The only app that are compatible are the ones you can get on the App Store, but you cannot just download any random application as I will show you here. I'll go to Google, see, Chrome, switch to Chrome for Windows. And by the way, it still uses Internet Explorer, so that's another downside. Um, unfortunately, they never made a Windows 10 RT version, so you're stuck with Windows 8 and Internet Explorer. So as you can see, get more done with Chrome, we can click download Chrome. I've tried to get Chrome on it, I found this out a long time ago that you are not allowed to run EXE applications on Windows RT, RT only applications that will run on ARM processors. See this app can't run on your PC, open the Windows Store. So as you can see, there's not a whole lot of software that you can actually download on Windows RT. Now there is a bright side to still using a Windows RT tablet in 2020. Fortunately, you can still get apps from the Microsoft Store, like I said, and stuff like Netflix still works perfectly fine. Even Internet Explorer somehow works okay. Now there are some websites, such as YouTube, I believe, that will not actually let you run. They will not actually let you open their website. So if we try to go to YouTube... I pretty much guarantee, okay, we've stopped supporting this browser. Oh, we'll stop supporting it soon. As you can see, though, this browser is outdated, but it does actually play um, some YouTube videos. So let's just go up here. Let's just search my channel real quick and see if it will actually play any videos. Got it, the keyboard button. Okay, so here's one of my videos here. So as you can see, you can you can play videos here still on Internet Explorer. So it does work as you can see, but unfortunately you cannot update the browser in any way. Now the bright side, another bright side to Windows RT is that you get a free version of Microsoft Office. So as you can see, we've got Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and Outlook here. And you can go to the desktop, or if you click on it, it'll take you to the desktop. And you see that it's here on your taskbar as well. And you click Start Menu, brings you back. It's pretty cool how it works. I kind of like the interface, but it sucks that it's not compatible. But if you're looking for a cheap way to get the full-blown version of Microsoft Office, then this is the way to go. So you can actually find these Windows RT tablets for pretty cheap. I mean, this is an, a Nokia Lumina 2520. I mean, they're very easy to find. So if you want a very cheap way to get the full-blown Microsoft Office, then this may be the way to go for you. So another upside to using Windows RT is that it is a cheap way to access your servers or anything in the file browser. You do get a full Windows File Explorer here. As you can see, you can access your C drive here or you can go network over here. And we've got all our network components here as well. Um, so you can access those pretty easily. So that is another plus of Windows RT. So would I recommend getting a device with Windows RT? Probably not because it's not compatible with any sort of updates anymore. Microsoft doesn't really update it. You're stuck with Internet Explorer and you can't download any other um, software outside of the Microsoft Store. Also, if you really wanted to get a portable, cheap Windows device, you could get like a Surface Pro 3 with Windows 10 and the full Microsoft Office for like $150. $50 on eBay. I would much rather spend my money on that than Windows RT as it is old and outdated and since it runs on ARM processors you cannot download 
a like full blown PC software from the internet. Like I said, you can only download from the Microsoft Store. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and drop a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. Also, go ahead and hit that bell icon so you are notified when any new content comes out. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comments below and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Otherwise, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.